Hello guys, Chemos for Beginners, part 5. How to modify a strategy in Chemos. So, in part 4, we define all the technology for our part. Right now, as you can see in Chemos operations tree, we have all the operations we need, but in red. Red means we need to generate the toolpath. Just like in generate operation plan, if you if you click generate toolpath from from toolbar, it will affect all the camera's operations tree. So I will click generate toolpath. When you generate a toolpath, if you have a part, uh, uh, sorry, uh, operations in red, that means something is wrong. So for our uh, rectangular, how first? How you find out which feature is this is this operations just expand it and we have a rough mill defined interactively from the last tutorial for the Obron packet. So cameras cannot generate a rough mill with a flattened 16 diameter for this for this part because if we measure this feature. The distance is 14, let's say 15, but cameras cannot generate an, a rough mill for this type of feature. So, how can I modify this? Just go to rough mill, right click and edit definition, or just double click it. And right now we have the window for a roughing operation parameter. This is a tool, feed and speeds. These two columns are common for all operations in Chemors, and then the specific parameters for any types of type of operation. It's Chemors for beginners, so I want to show you just some simple common uh, parameters. When you see allowance, it means what value of allowance you want to for cameras to automatically to automatically live on the features amt it's the short for amount you have the first cut amount the maxing cut amount and the final cut amount the nc tab always in any operation in cameras it's where you define the rapid pain the clearance plane the feature options it's the entry and retract way for roughing and so on. So we want to modify, let's say for this Obron packet, the tool. Okay, tool. I can always modify it here, but my recommendation is to go to the third tab, tool crib from library, click add. It will bring you the tool selection filter. And I want, these are the tool types available in Chemos. I want for this, a flat end with a smaller diameter, let's say 8, for instance. I will click here just to let cameras show me all the 8 diameter flat end. When you, I click OK, the, the flat end tool is the last one. I will click on the usage column, just like this. All the line is selected and then select. Do you want to replace also the holder? Of course, and hit yes, and then OK. Right click, and you have generate toolpath. Right now, I have the toolpath. What you can see right now in the um, in the graphic area, it's the center of the tool, and this is the toolpath. I will show you in another tutorial. How, how you can simulate uh, toolpath in cameras. You want to modify and uh, another operation. Let's go to center drill. We have the first two columns the same, and of course the operations specific for a drilling strategy. Okay. When you generate, when you first install cameras, you will look at all tutorials and you will 
have a generated uh, toolpath just like I do. And you see this exclamation point in the CAMOS operations tree. This exclamation point comes come from here. This three axis machine with tool creep to define have a function which is called tool creep priority check. What does this mean? When you, when you click generate operation plan for this part, Camor's first goes when he needs to define the tool on your tool creep. And he have, uh, Camor's having a technology database, a condition. So if the condition gives Camor's a 10 flat end diameter and you will not have it in the tool creep, what does Camor's do? It cameras tries to find a 10 millimeter diameter flat end tool in your tool clip. He, you don't have it here. So cameras goes to his technology database, tools database. The, in tools database, he will find a, a 10 millimeter diameter because technology tools database, it's very large. So you will have here an exclamation point, which it, which means you will you don't have this tool in your tool crib and i will i will generate an operation with the tool from my database so this exclamation point in generating toolpath doesn't mean an error okay so we define also and uh, generate a toolpath and modify a strategy in cameras another cool thing is for any types of feature, when you are done, and this is a technology you want, just go, go to Camo's feature tree, go to the feature, right click and save operation plan. Which means the next time Camo's encounter this hole with this diameter, it will use the technology with the tool, feeds and speeds, entry and so on, just like you want it. Until the next tutorial, bye.